Uh, that's that. And speaking of me being in <laughs> or me not being in the TVH video, I want to talk about this real quick. It's 10.05. Keep that in mind. It's 10.05, people. If my stream goes off, then if my stream goes off for five minutes, then you know why. I'll be back. Okay, so we're going to try to get this off maybe five minutes. But if I don't finish, uh, I'll come back and we'll continue talking about it. So, um, so this was a great video. This was uh, one of TVH's first documentaries that he did. And this is called the rise and fall of Ronnie 2K. Now, if you if you've been with GI for a while, you know that uh, for a little bit, I wouldn't call it beef, but TBH and uh, and Ronnie had a little back and forth because TBH made a video criticizing 2K, and Ronnie said that he shouldn't have cursed. <laughs> so you know, there's been an argument. Like, you should have never cursed, curse, curse. So that's where that came from. Just in case if you weren't around back then, but uh, TBH even admitted he said I was cursing up a storm like I was young, but I was just frustrated with the game, and he wasn't necessarily going after Ronnie in that video but obviously ronnie you know that being the product of the 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 studio that he works for you know he responded to him on twitter and said that you know <laughs> it kind of reminded me of a uh, of a uh, uh a freaking snowfall a freaking snowfall like like, <laughs> like you get mad at the way another nigga talk like that's that's exactly what it was man it was because you get you got mad at the delivery but you literally said nothing about the criticism that he was given so but anyways um you know right before this is this is uh the timing was great because it came right before the official release of 2k25 and we talked about ronnie 2k and like his upbringing i didn't i didn't know a lot of stuff about ronnie and i then i even searched for it no did i care no but it's interesting to see like you know how ronnie 2k got his start and how he ultimately ended up being you know the quote-unquote face of 2k uh, but what i found interesting in this documentary here was the the people TBH got to give their opinions on Ronnie 2K. And I find that a lot of, <laughs> I ain't gonna call everybody cause you know, but you know, it, not the people in the video, but overall the 2K coons are really, really upset at Ronnie 2K saying that you can respect your bills. Like niggas will not let that go. <laughs> I find, I found that hilarious, like multiple people that that TVH uh asked the question to you, how do you know what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about Ronnie 2K? Like the majority of them said, man, you know, that nigga a liar, he a scammer, you know, he told us that we could respect our bills and you never could, like he just be a liar. <laughs> like Ronnie at this point, man, it's just it's just unstoppable, bro. 2K is just unstoppable. Like y'all are gonna buy every year, no matter how much you complain about it. That's why I find a lot of people like very hypocritical. Like the people who have been able to get away from 2K, myself included, like shout out to y'all. But it's like, bro, I know y'all want to ball out, but really, like, if you really feel that way about somebody and about the product, how many times are you going to keep purchasing the game? That's why I'm like, all right, look, y'all had this to say about Ronnie and the game period, and y'all be criticizing the game after, you know, however long that the new iteration comes out, but y'all still don't have the cojones to break the cycle, to break those chains. Y'all niggas still gonna be balling out on the part. Y'all still gonna be in pro -am. Y'all still gonna be spending money on VC, so... So what's the point of y'all even saying anything? You know, and again, I'm not singling out the people in this video. I'm just saying, like, overall, why y'all even be... <laughs> why do y'all even be like it's just like all right bro like okay it's <laughs> do ab it's a human arrest i know bro y'all niggas want to ball out bro y'all want to ball out i get it but i just don't understand the constant criticism if you're going to just run back to it every year you know you go play something else you do irl stuff whatever and then you come back you get all hype you do the uh, you get invited out to 2k community day you play you get early access and then the game comes out and it's just like nothing ever happened. Just like you never even say anything, you never criticize it. So I just found that hilarious. Like, like niggas really will never forgive Ronnie 2K for saying that that you could respect your bill. <laughs> They're like, yo, Ronnie, you don't know what the F you talking about. I don't know what you talking about, bro. I bet you some of these dudes, bro, if they had a chance, they'd probably pull up on Ronnie and try to snuff him. Like the dudes who didn't get invited to community day, I bet you they'd be so mad. They probably try to snuff that man. I'm surprised he ain't got pulled up on in that manner before. The way that people be tough talking on uh on the internet. I'm surprised he ain't got pulled up on. Second respect would have been a game changer. Yeah, they should have done it. 
they should have done a whole note to that like a petty act right I only talk about Ronnie because he got really nothing to do with the game and that and that's why that's the only thing i can get ronnie bell for the only thing i can get ronnie bell for he's one of the only faces out there like him and mike wank and for for a while chris manny but it's really ronnie like ronnie is i mean that's what he's supposed to do he's a community manager so i understand he's supposed to be the front face in person but yeah he does take a lot of shit he takes a lot more shit than in and, and he ain't done nothing he he probably did absolutely nothing with any of these games probably provided like zero feedback on anything you know any of these titles probably about absolutely zero feedback just doing he doing quote unquote his job you know work with the content creators work with the athletes work with the celebrities uh work with the rappers and you know try to integrate that within the the 2k universe get people hype you know talk about uh what people's overall will be every year so i mean he's technically doing his job i just think that a lot of people just don't like ronnie as a person because he he, be, he do be talking greasy to some people bro he do be talking greasy to some people you know it is what it is the tba pointed that out like his battles with flight uh what he said to tbh himself uh how can we forget the game remember when the game got banned <laughs> remember when the game got banned he was talking greasy to him but remember when he got banned and you know he was trying to help him out he was like all right i'm gonna get it i'm, I'm gonna get your bill back i'm gonna get you I'm gonna, I'm gonna get your uh your profile back blah, blah blah like he just I don't know. He be he be playing kiss ass to some people, but other people he be feeling like like I be feel like he be a little too involved. Like he forgets that he's a community manager a lot of times. He forgets that he's community manager, and he just be talking like like he a regular dude out here. He be talking like he a regular dude, and I'm like, bro, you need to treat your community the people, uh, the people who pay their hard earned money every single year to play every 2k that comes out you need to treat them with a little bit more respect and you need to take criticism better like obviously if they're talking crap about you in a negative light and they're not pr uh, providing constructive criticism that's one thing but you know if, if they're not talking directly about you but they're talking about the game in itself they don't take that personally and i feel like ronnie does a lot of the times you know all the other beefs he got with i feel like he takes it a little too personally if they're not talking about you cool but they just talking about the game that you shouldn't shun them for that you shouldn't blackball them you shouldn't blacklist them because they're talking crap about the game they honestly want the game to get better that's why they're talking about it they want the game to get better they're not talking about you individually because you don't make the game ronnie it's not you it's the developers that make the game but again since there's no other real front facing person besides mike wang you know who are they going to take out the bulk of their their uh their anger on they're going to take it out on ronnie and ronnie will respond the majority of the time if he feels slighted so then you create those narratives you create those beefs you create that negative energy and then you know people get even more mad because they find out you're blackballing them you're blacklisting them you don't fuck with them you're not going to invite them to community day you're not going to give them a logo in the park you know back to flight situation you know and flight was like hey i'm good man like like whatever like i don't even care no more bro that was a that was one of the most noble things he ever did he like fuck that logo like i don't care i don't want to talk to you like good i'm good on that i'm good on that so so shout out to fight man you know he has a cone but a lot of these other creators they don't you know they do be they do be playing a lot of kiss ass a lot of politics involved in 2k and a lot of it does revolve around ronnie unfortunately so you know uh he said uh he said what well, the fuck ronnie though yeah so i don't like ronnie as a person personally like i said he be taking he be taking stuff too far he just he just like he's just an unlikable person he's just an unlikable person and you know and it is what it is you know but but I again on the other side, I don't feel like he should take a lot of crap. Uh, he's not responsible. I don't feel like he should take. He's not responsible for a lot of the crap that people be talking about when it comes to the game itself. Because again, he didn't make it. So that's the only that's the only bail that I can give him throughout these years. Literally, the only bail I can give him is that he didn't make the game. Only only bail that I can give him. Uh, take two will burn to hell for the crown to get the gaming community. Yeah, exactly. Uh, don't tell me for making two K. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge you, bro. I'm not gonna judge you. You gotta get the commissioner AB videos. <laughs> I'm not going to judge you, bro. All right.